You're listening to the Fairies and Folklore Podcast by Renal. I'm dark fantasy author Renal Janssen von With nearly a decade of digging around in dusty folklore books, researching creatures of imagination that ignited my curiosity, I'm here to share the folklore in a nutshell and how I reimagined it for my writing in An Origin of the Fae. This is the Fairies and Folklore Podcast. Hi, I'm your host, Rinal Jansa von Vieren. You can just call me Rinal. In today's episode, we're continuing our exploration of the Fae realm. This episode is brought to you by my Dark Court Sisters book series, available in ebook, paperback, and audiobook. Three Sisters, Three Destinies, Three Ways to Destroy the World. Go to RinaldaMythmaker.com forward slash Dark Old Sister Series for more. You can now support my time in producing the podcast, researching, writing, and everything else involved by buying me a coffee. This can be a once off thing, or you can buy me coffee again in the future at your discretion. Go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Renal to support me. We are continuing our exploration of solitary fae. Today's fairy, Jumbos, folklore in a nutshell by Renal. Originating in West Africa, Jumbos closely resemble European fairies. They are also known as Baknarakna, which means good people, which is another euphemism used for the fae in most countries. Jumbos are believed to be the spirits of the dead. They are pearly white in color, just like most supernatural beings in Africa, with silver hair. They're not very tall and live beneath hills. On moonlit nights, they come out to dance. They feast at long tables laden with food, mainly fish they caught themselves and corn stolen from humans. They are served at these feasts by invisible servants and they invite humans to dine with them. We all know, though, that it is a bad idea to eat with fairies. You might belong to them forever. And now for my interpretation of the Fae in an origin of the Fae, Jumbos. They are small with deathly white skin and silver hair. They look sweet and kind. They're obsessed with food. They don't mind setting out elaborate feasts on long tables properly set with silver and fine china in the middle of forests. They even share their meals with travelers, especially meals of plum wine, fish and corn. They have invisible servants. These are guests who had overstayed their welcome and are now silently enslaved to them. So be warned, do not eat with fairies or you'll belong to them. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode of the Fairies and Folklore podcast and that you've learned something new about fairy. Remember that you can get a transcript of this episode in the description. If you're new to the podcast, why not go and grab your free copy of Unseen, the second book in the fairy tale series, on my website, renaldemythmaker.com. Loads of folklore, magic and danger await. Take care.